Okay, I'm going to show you how to create the hover drive contro uh, controller so that it will track other people. First off, go to um, Entities and find the hover drive controller and spawn it. Okay, just freeze it in place. Um, go to Wired Beacon, Target Finder, put whatever you want. Uh, for the options, just be sure that has whatever, be sure it has a maximum range of full so that it'll target anyone. Uh, I have target players checked and do not target owner checked also. So, you know, put the target finder right there. You can go up to beacon find, beacon sensor and make sure nothing is checked except for output world position, GPS cords, and place that on top of the target finder okay um i don't know what i'm doing there go then go down to wire io put go number input and mine is on seven make sure toggle is off and i'm just going to spawn it on top of the uh, hover drive controller now I'll take out your wiring tool and wire the beacon sensor target to the target finder output one. Um, then target, or then go to the hover drive controller and wire jump to the numpad input. Uh, then go to X jump target, put it on the beacon sensor at world X. Then go to the Y jump target on the hover drive controller and put it onto the beacon sensor world Y and then the Z jump target on the hover drive controller to the beacon sensor world Z. Now all you have left for the uh, hover drive controller is now set jump target and wire that to the target finder output one. And that's pretty much just all it is. Now I'll show you what the test is. Now I'm telling you right now that when it teleports the uh, the hover drive controller teleports to them so if you're gonna put it on the bottom of the vehicle which I'll also include in this tutorial you're gonna want to put it on the bottom of the vehicle so that the vehicle doesn't end up under the ground now when it if it has a target which it should when you hit 7 it will teleport right to them and it's right under him right now now I'm gonna move him over here and it's going to go under him again. Okay. Now if you're going to do this for a vehicle, you can pretty much keep it same design, just weld it to a vehicle. But I'll show you one of the best ways to have a vehicle. I'm just going to use a Jeep since that's one of the easiest ones to do it for. Then spawn the hover drive controller again. Uh, make it so that it's like this. Go to Tools, uh, No Collide, and just No Collide it. Right click to No Collide everything. Make sure it's on the bottom of the vehicle. And if you want, you make it so that it's in the, in the middle as much as possible. And then take out your Weld Tool and weld it to the car. Go back to the wire tab, go to wire beacon, put the target finder right on the front, and the beacon sensor on top. But now you see that it's backwards, unspawn that, spawn it back on the ground, pick it up and turn it like this, and put it on top of, just make sure that it's facing forward and not bent at all put tools and weld it to the car then I'll, you'll still need the numpad input I'm going to use 7 again okay 7 and that's pretty much it again now all we have to do is wire it up wire X jump target to the beacon sensor world X uh, then 
wired hover drive controller Y jump target to the beacon sensor world Y and then the Z jump target to the beacon sensor world Z uh, target to the target finder output one and then the beat or the hover drive controller set jump target to the target finder output one and it should be ready as soon as it gets a target let me spawn one uh, okay there we go I'm just gonna go ahead and no collide the uh, hover drive controller to the world that way it won't mess up with the car at all collide with the world Um, okay, and freeze everything. Okay, so it works. Okay, now it has no target. Let's get a target on there. Okay, target acquired. You hit seven. It doesn't teleport. This isn't getting a target. This is crap. Hold on. undo uh, this there we go okay now let's see if it'll work now that the other thing's out of the way oh okay wait sorry guys I forgot to wire the jump on the hover drive controller to the numpad input 7 now when you hit 7 it teleports to the target and it might sometimes the car will end up under the um, mat but that's why you have to have it on the bottom and now let's try this when we're driving landed right on top of him landed right on top of the combine and then killed him <laughs> okay well that's pretty much your uh, basic hover drive controller Goodbye. Oh, uh, before I forget, when you have a target finder um, on a vehicle, make sure that the target finder does not target props or vehicles. So if it targets a vehicle, then it's just going to target itself and keep teleporting to the exact same spot. So it's really not going to do anything for you if target vehicles is on. Okay, if you don't have the hover drive controller or wire mod, you can go to http colon backslash backslash www.garysmod.org backslash downloads s backslash question mark a equals view the and symbol i id equals 42217. Okay, and that should be all. If you don't have it, just go to that website that I just said, and you'll get wire mod, wire model pack, and the hover drive controller, plus the advanced duplicator if you don't have that.